Do you ever feel like uh, everyone else understands something that you don't? Like they've all been given this like secret password to understanding life and the world or, or they all belong to a club that you would like to belong to, but you just aren't even sure how you get in. When I first became a hockey mom, it seemed like everybody understood how this whole hockey mom sort of thing went. They all they all talked to the other parents, and then as I got to know the other hockey moms, um, I discovered that early they all felt the same way that I did. Like we all felt like we were missing some piece of the puzzle and just trying to sort of navigate and figure it out. We're all taking clues from each other to see how we fit in. You see, I think for so many of us, uh, we assume that we're the only ones that are trying to figure this thing out. We assume that everybody else has got something that we don't and they have the answers. But the truth is, I think we're all actually in the same boat. We're all trying to figure this rope together. You see, I think everybody worries that uh, other people are, are thinking about them. But if we're all worrying about what other people are thinking about us, then none of us are actually thinking about the other people that we're worried about. Ultimately, we're all just worried about ourselves. You see, for so many of us, I think it's hard for us to know how to be human, how to live into these bodies and lives that God has gifted us into, how to understand ourselves, how to understand others and the world around us. Because I think being human, it's kind of complicated. It's like this unique mixture of like confidence and insecurity, of, of arrogance and humility, of joy and of sorrow, of kindness and cruelty, of potential and apathy, of, of fearlessness and terror, of coolness and awkwardness. All of this wrapped up into the same body. All of us wrapped up into our souls. And then it makes me wonder why God created us with such a wide breadth of dichotomy. Why this personal paradox that we all live in. I mean, have you ever found yourself in a moment where you were crying so hard and then you found yourself laughing at the end? Uh, when it comes down to it, being human is interesting and complicated and beautiful and hard and terrible all at the same time. I remember when my sister announced her very first pregnancy, we were all at this great big family gathering and she said, hey, I'm pregnant and everybody cheered and roared and I was so elated. I was beyond happy for my littlest sister. I was so excited. But then I made eye contact with my husband and the two of us stepped outside for a minute and we bawled our eyes out because we had just experienced our third miscarriage. It wasn't like I wasn't happy for my sister. I was intensely overjoyed, but it was just complicated. I carried both that joy and my grief all at the same time. You see, for so many of us, I think when we're trying to figure out what it means to be human, we want to put ourselves sort of in a category. We want to be this one way of being human. And sometimes we shut all the other things out. We try to find ourselves fitting into an expectation, whether it was expectations from our parents or expectations from our society or from our job or from the community that we live in. Uh, this expectation that we feel and act a certain way. Uh, or if you call yourself a Christian, that Christians do this, that they create themselves in a certain way or we feel like our job, that's going to define who we are or how we decorate our home, that that'll define who we are. But the truth is, is that uh, I think God designed us as complicated on purpose. So it's no wonder that we struggle with how to be human. I think the psalmist was exploring some of this in Psalm 139 when, when he writes, uh, For you created me in my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb, God. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And your works are wonderful, God. I know that full well. But my frame was not hidden for you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes, God, saw my unformed body and, and all of my days were written out in your book before any single one of them came to me. How precious are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. If I were going to count them, they'd outnumber the grains of sand. I think the psalmist is trying to explain this complicated thing of what it means to be human, both fearfully and wonderfully made. Here's the truth. I think God did that on purpose. You see, God sees all the parts of you because God made you. Uh, and so today, this week on this series in the Daily Dose, I want to talk about how we embrace the wholeness, our whole being, the good, the bad, the messy, and everything in between. I think we want to embrace our humanness the way that God embraces us.